You hear us say it every day, and honest to goodness, we really are sincere about it. Thank you to our studio audience for joining us today on Delmarva Life. We'd like for you to be here. To find out how you can become a member of our studio audience, visit DelmarvaLife.com, click on the show tab, or call that number right there, 443-880-9162. Well, there is a lot of people on Delmarva that know all too well about the negative impact that a foreclosure can have on their lives. Your credit score takes a hit. You're left looking for a place to live. Yeah, and the state of Delaware has a new law in place to help homeowners avoid foreclosure and wait until you hear the impact it's having. Joining us today to tell us more is Attorney Dean Campbell from the law office of Dean Campbell in Georgetown. Thank you for joining us this Certainly afternoon. Certainly happy to be back. So the numbers speak for themselves, don't they? The numbers are absolutely incredible. Um, and the numbers you're going to be showing, I'll, I'll say, are you know, unofficial numbers. I called the court yesterday to talk about these numbers. But uh, the foreclosure rate in Sussex County is down tremendously. In, in one month, for example, April, there were no residential mortgage foreclosures. Let's start with February. Absolutely zero. February. Let's start with February. February um, last year, in 2011, there were... Uh, 118 overall foreclosures. Now keep in mind, this is all foreclosures. This is residential and commercial, everything, because last year they weren't being separated. There was no need to. Okay. But by and large, I would, I would estimate probably 80 or 90% of those were residential foreclosures. Now that they're keeping records of residential foreclosures, February 2012, there were two foreclosures filed in Sussex County. Hmm. That is incredible. That's a great thing. Okay, let's go to March. March, you have the same, uh, same type of scenario, overall foreclosures, everything, 109 uh, foreclosures in uh, Sussex County, March 2011, and then for March 2012, three residential foreclosures. My goodness, and then you were just talking about April. April is, is even more astounding. Um, April of last year, 69 overall foreclosures, and April 2012, zero residential foreclosures filed in Sussex County Superior Court. How wow. about that? And, and you think this is directly related to this law? Well, there's no other, there's no other answer for it. There's nothing else has changed. Mortgages are still mortgages. Um, it has to be directly related to this law. Okay, tell us how this law works in Delaware. Well, what the law does and what it's intended to do is to make the bank, the lender, and the homeowner come together face to face in a mediation program. Uh, the program is actually uh, initiated uh, or the process initiates through the Attorney General's office. There's a, a program administrator. And when a foreclosure complaint is filed, uh, they get notice of it. And the homeowner has to respond, which is one of the things that has to be done. If you, if you sit back and do nothing, then, then nothing's going to happen, except you're going to lose your house. Um, but the homeowner has to respond. And once they respond, it requires a mediation to occur. There is a housing counselor gets involved. And these housing counselors are worth their weight in gold. They know about the foreclosure process. They know about the federal programs that are in effect that can require lenders to modify mortgages. They can set up realistic payment plans. Uh, they are absolutely incredible folks. So this accomplishes for the homeowner what? It's a glimmer of hope is what it is. Um, typically a foreclosure uh, process in Delaware, it's a, it's a judicial process. Uh, complaints filed, nobody answers, default judgment is entered. Uh, next thing it goes to sheriff sale. Very, very streamlined process of what it used to be. Now what this process does, it requires this mediation to occur where the lender and the homeowner sit down and try to work out a modification. So before where there was really no hope, because there's not a lot of defenses to a foreclosure, before there was no hope, now there is. And you put these federal programs into work also, and it really creates a, uh, a good scenario for keeping your home if you're having trouble paying your mortgage. All right, so for instance, if um, I can only afford $900 a month on my mortgage, but it is $1,200, can the bank help me bring it down to the $900? Yes, uh, the, first step, the first step that occurs from the homeowner's perspective is they, are, uh, they hire a housing counselor. They're, they're directed to a housing counselor through the, uh, through the Attorney General's office. And these housing counselors can you know, work through the numbers to find out what a realistic mortgage payment is. Let's say it does come to $900. Depending on the bank, depending on the person's situation, depending on whether they meet the eligibility requirements for some of these federal programs, or some of these lenders have their own modification programs that they offer. And if the person meets those plans and $900 is a doable number, 
then yes, the, the, the mortgage will be modified so that the payments are reduced to 900. Obviously, the default is put towards the back end of the mortgage. Um, but yes, it keeps the person in the home. Everything that you just said was massively important, but I got to admit, when my ears went up was when you said eligibility requirements. What kind of things would qualify well, you? Well, there are, uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure the exact number, I think it's probably around 12 programs or so that are offered through the federal government. Uh, they were part of Obama's, President Obama's initiative to, to cut down on foreclosures and to, uh, and to help that process or eliminate that process. Um, but each one has its own uh, criteria. Uh, for example, the one that's primarily used requires a uh, income ratio. If your mortgage is about 31 percent of your gross monthly income, that's one of the requirements. That's a, that's a large chunk of your income if that's, if that's where you are. But each program has its own individual requirements and there's uh, you know, just got to check it out individually. You just got to check it out individually. All right. So where do you come in in all of this? As uh, an if attorney? the attorney general is, is stepping in to help yeah. us out, why do we need you? Well, one of the problems with a foreclosure is folks don't know the process. And despite the fact that there are ample notices given in the foreclosure complaint, by and large, they're ignored. What the attorney can do, or what an attorney can do, is to ensure that the process is followed correctly, that the affidavits that are required to be filed with the court are in fact true. Um, it's essentially ensuring that the process is, it, it goes forward properly with all due process of law, uh, and to ensure that it's not that boom, boom, we go to sale done. process mm -hmm. done. It, it throws up a, uh, I don't want to say a roadblock, but it certainly does create a situation where you have uh, some hope and you know somebody's looking out for your rights. Slows things down so you exactly. can figure out what's going on. Exactly. Dean Campbell, thank you so much for joining thank us you this for afternoon. Having me. That was awesome. Wow. And if you would like some more information, including a list of programs available and requirements you need to meet to participate in the programs, go to delmartalife.com and click on the show tab. Well, still ahead, summer is the season for community festivals, and there's one that joins the towns of Greensboro and Denton in Caroline County via the Choptank River. That's right. The third annual Paddle Fest is great kayaking and canoeing on the Choptank, and our next guests explain what else you'll find. Delmarva Life, life at its best here on Delmarva.